Dear Mrs. Stanton, Well, I have been and gone and done it. So we are in for a fine agitation in Rochester on the question. It is splendid that without any concert of action, so many should have moved here so impromptu. But I'm awful tired. And for five days, I have been on the constant run, but to splendid purpose. So, all right, I hope you voted too. Affectionately, Susan B. Anthony. It's 1872. Fifteen women dared to vote. It was a time when women were not allowed to vote in the United States, but these women decided to challenge that rule. They registered to vote in a barber shop. Then a few days later, they walked into a general store in Rochester, New York, and voted for the President of the United States. Not knowing if they would be arrested or even sent to jail. Mama Votes is told through the eyes of young Faye Townsend as she watches her mother join a group of women led by the famous suffragette Susan B. Anthony, who shocked Rochester, New York and the nation by registering and casting their first votes. Mama Votes is their story. The book also includes a two-act play of Mama Votes that you can read or perform at home, in your library, school, or any place where you and your friends gather. Through the story and the play, you'll feel what it was like to be part of that early group of brave women and the thousands who followed them in the fight for the right to vote. You will feel their triumph when women finally achieved that right through the passage of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution in 1920, exactly 100 years ago. your own copy of Mama Votes, visit flyingcorgimedia.com or your favorite bookseller.